what's the difference between this year and last year? I mean, man, and I understand it's 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 part of your job, and it's and and it's it's quite interesting. The probably the extremes of what we show, and now the starting, and we're the only team in MLS to have two points. But I mean, I, I want to focus about about the game, the comparisons. In the end, it's the past. We're not going to change that. We're we're delighted of how we are, but as mean, but, uh, but as well, it's like it's like I said it uh, after the match against Miami. This is just a reminder of of how hard we're being broken as a group. You know, it's it's. I don't take only the credit because I scored two against Miami now three. It's, it's, the credit is for all of us, even even the the players who come from the bench, the staff, the owners, the the sports director, the directors over there, then uh, the fans that the, for the first time uh, they, they they came here to to our stadium, the the people who who work here here in marketing, uh, uh, Raul, the Kidmans, I mean everyone over here. We, we are we're trying to do the best job because we know the the responsibility uh, to be part of, of of this badge that is behind me. You know it's. Is, is, is the is the best club in MLS, and we need we need to we need to try to prove it day by day. Sorry that I'm not gonna answer what's the difference because it's, it's not that I'm getting tired, but right now I'm I'm, I'm very focused on, about the present and what, what 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 keep coming, you know. And and yeah, we want to to enjoy this, but like, like Julian said it, and he's he's completely correct. Like since tomorrow, our mindset, our mind, and our mindset, and everything is gonna be totally focused on on, on Seattle. What was it like though with the fans? Last year you, you played one game in front of the fans and you, you had a tough year. The fans were cheering for you so loud today. What was that like to win the fans back? Amazing. It's amazing. You know that you have your supporters over here. Uh, the, it, it was a good amount in the stadium. They support the atmosphere. Every, everything changed, of course, when, when, when fans come, come, come to the stadium. So it was amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, man. <coughs> We'll go with Damian Calhoun next. Damian, go ahead. <coughs> Hi, man. Um, take, take us through uh, the, the first goal. Um, it looked like Dubek had a shot. It was going wide. We thought it was going out of bounds. What did you see there that, that sort of, you know, you saw the ball there, but how much? That, it doesn't take a lot of time to say, hey, I got to I got I gotta, I, I gotta I, go get it. Yeah, I just, I just react and I said, it's mine. It's mine. Like, I can score. I can score. It's going to be. Like a very tight angle, obviously. So I just get focus of of, of where the, the goal was and the direction of the ball, and then uh, thankfully I, I I I put the ball into into the net. But I mean, I, I was just waiting. Uh, what I, I just give the option to Subak because I knew that he he could have the chance to to shoot and probably rebound from the goalkeeper. Probably he can he can score or something like that. I put myself in a position where probably the ball the, I thought the ball was gonna come, and then in the end it came, and and I and I did it pretty good. But as well, I want to say, yeah, sorry to interrupt you, the, the, the play with, with Jorge recovering the ball, pressing, and then Subak doing that, it was amazing. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, and on the third goal, your back, your, your back post, but you see Vasquez coming, making that, that, long, that, that hard yeah. run in the middle. Um, and Greg said that when you see that, you want to go to the back post. Is that what you're, is that your... I'm trying to be as connected as I can in, in the game, uh, feeling about the, the rivals and as well my teammates, positioning and all of stuff. I mean, the first goal against Miami was, was around in the first post, you know, so I mean, I'm just trying to, I, I scored two goals today, running more in the second post than the second goal. It was an amazing and extraordinary pass from, from Victor in the middle, just, just in the middle of, of, of the goal and in the box between the central defenders. So. I'm just trying to, 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 to put myself in positions where I think the ball could come. And then if not, like for example, if Victor could, he, he, he could have shot it, he, he just like, like touched it a little bit, that made that the ball uh, changed a little bit of direction to the defender. So the rebound came up and then the, the ball came into me. So I'm just trying to put myself in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the most accurate positions, probably when I think the ball could come and I can score goals or at least move. Where, where I can create spaces and someone else can 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 uh, get to that space to, to to create something or to or to do something. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Damian. We'll go with Dylan Hernandez with the LA Times next. Dylan, go ahead. Javier, uh, obviously, uh, you know you're putting yourself in position in front of the goal, but your teammates are also delivering you the balls. You know, these sure. first two games. Uh, yeah. How fun is it as a striker when you know you're kind of getting the service that you have these first two uh, weeks? I mean, it's fantastic. You know the the the, <coughs> the assist, like for example the Subak one, and then and then the, the 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 one today with Victor. It's 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 unbelievable. You know that's why I, that's why honestly, I, even even in goals that I can create myself and they can look like more 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 of like uh, the credit for the striker. That's why I always always since I start and you hear this speech because 
probably you, you, you think I'm trying to be very like correct, but that, that's the way that I feel. I just want to win games and winning games in, in, in not only depends about the striker scoring goals, you know, it depends of everything and the beauty of, of soccer, apart that I scored the, for example, the second goal, the pass of victories, it's fantastic, you know? If that pass, I don't know, uh, Pulisic does it, or I don't know, uh, Ozil in the moment, I don't know, any other players will be around the world, that pass is, it's incredible because to have that vision, to have the technique, to put it over there, the only thing that I need to do is have a correct touch and then and then put it put it into the net. So as a striker, that's why you want to put, it's, it's like a chemistry, right? You want to put yourself in the correct positions and of course sometimes the ball needs to come and, and thankfully that's happening because of all the great work that we all are doing in this team. Obviously last week, this week, uh, two totally different opponents. How impressed have you been with Greg's ability to kind of adjust from opponent to opponent. It's fantastic. That's why he did what he did in Toronto. Now he's trying to do it over here. He's a fantastic manager with, with all his, his his staff. All the staff have the same mindset. Uh, they want to, to help to make all of us improve. They they give the, the best of themselves. So I mean the coaching staff is is, is being is being so good as well the results but as as well and, and I want to say it. Probably, probably uh, bad results are going to come and tough times are going to come because that's part of the season. That's part of where we, we, we need to be resilient. Like for example, in Miami, we went, we, we came back twice. In this game, in the in the in the end, we 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 came back too. I think one, yes, no, no, we we we, we always were in front. So it's a different circumstances in, in the game. So the good thing as well that he transmits to us is that resilience and that uh, adaptability uh, about the circumstances that are happening inside the game. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll go with the last one in English with Nikki K. Nikki, go ahead. Hey, teacher, you know, congratulations. Thank you. Um, you talked about the fun you're having and the chemistry that's developing on this team. What are you doing that we're not seeing um, in practices to not only tell the guys what works for you, but develop that sort of familiarity? Listening to Greg and all the coaching stuff, literally. I mean, the the, the way that he's he's implementing his his idea, but but no, no, a part of the idea is the way he's doing it. I think he's doing very accurate, very efficient, very very well communicated, as well as all all his stuff. You know, he's he's the leader and he's the the, the face that a lot of people are going to speak about it. But all his coaching stuff is is incredible and it's amazing. And as well, what I like to do always, it doesn't matter if I score goals, if I don't, if I have a good performance, if I have a bad performance. I have a, a person like like it's the 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 head of my analysis in my in my like like. Like, like small people or small group that are working with that we all, all always try to to see where we can improve and and as well focusing as well a little bit in the in the teams that we're gonna play as well uh, like like connecting with with all the idea with Greg that that's something that I'm doing but but I think the most important thing is that I'm listening to Greg and to all his coaching staff and with your teammates how, how is that connection for me it's amazing. I mean, what are What's the communication and the culture like that you're developing? You know, with guys like Ethan and, and how that rhythm is establishing on the field. Yeah, some sometimes it's not like 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 it needs to be like very. Uh, uh, I don't know how to say it. like like, like you, you need to see it as well. Sometimes it just happened because what I learn about good players is like uh, uh, the, the adaptability. You know when when it doesn't matter the teammate, but you know the teammate, and you want to 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 do the best that you, uh, as you can to help the teammate and to help the team, right? So I mean the chemistry is being amazing. We have a phrase that like uh, we always put it in the in the dressing room that is play like brothers because we're a family. So that's that's a feeling and that's something that we are feeling. You know sometimes like a family you can have a good connection or better connection, better communication or better relationship with some of them but 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 when the whole family have the same mindset of where we all want how we want to play where we're gonna go I think everything is, is, is just much easier and it doesn't need to 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 do a lot of effort to happen I think so that's something that that is happening uh, every day like like better and improving